نبوك رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أصبحنا وأصبح الملك لله. قال على الميتز بن شيخ سعد من مولانا شيخنا القدس الله سبحانه وتعالى تيجي بفاولية الله. قال بن شيخ is not the teaching is how to build up this life but how to build up love in your heart for Allah Almighty love for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam love for Al-Waytul Nabi, for Sahaba, for Awliyaullah love to each other how to dress by humbleness how to dress by love to each other how to love each other how much you make between each other, so friendship, so uh, lovely situation, even uh, any kind of uh, thoughts or hatred coming inside you, Morana said, will not be then catching on you when you are showing all kind of love to Allah Almighty and to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and to Awliyaullah, to Alwayt al Nabi, to each other. Because Allah Almighty making the ocean of love. The ocean of love is the, the ocean of love, but the ocean of love. It is done, Allah Almighty created it, appeared it from the divine, the oceans of godly love the love of Allah Almighty, because Allah Almighty when His will to be known, the first thing was loving everything He want to appear and to program in His will, to know Him by Him, was built up by love. Allah Almighty blessing everything by Godly love, then make them to appear from the ocean of love. When they appeared from the ocean of love, Allah Almighty led them by the ocean of lights. And then there used to be lights of Allah Almighty based on godly love. And for this Allah Almighty built us the whole Quran or the whole four books, Bibles, Torah, Zabur, Holy Quran and all manuscripts all prophets coming to teach people only to love Allah Almighty, to love Rasulullah, to love each other, to be all in humanity, as a human being, all as brotherhood and sisterhood, no one to have any hatred toward each other, but to love each other, to respect each other. And telling them, I am the one to question everyone. Don't question everyone. Don't look at the badness of everyone. Look at the goodness of everyone. Love everyone as you love me. Respect everyone as you respect as we respect me. Don't say this is a believer, this is an unbeliever, this is a good one, this is a bad one. You have nothing to do with my creation. My creation related to me. I love them. I created them. If I don't love my people, if I don't love my creation, I will not appeal them. Allah Almighty addressing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah Almighty making the Imam of love, the ocean of godly love to be appearing by the most merciful whom Allah sent him to be the mercy. What is the meaning of the mercies of Allah Almighty? Meaning the love of Allah Almighty. The Rahmah of Allah Almighty, the mercy of Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty making the ocean of mercy to be represented by seal of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so that he will be decorating all whatever creation appearing from the divine, the godly word of Creator, of Allah Almighty as Creator to be appearing, decorated and dressed by love of Allah Almighty and love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And for the first Rasulullah, when he was revealing the prophecy, the first thing he was attracting the people by love, by showing them love, and they show love to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
Rasulullah show love to Allah Almighty and Allah Almighty showing love to Rasulullah. And for this he say, the beloved to me is sealed of Prophet. The beloved of all is sealed of Prophet. All the prophets were showing love to Allah Almighty because they represent everyone in his time the ocean of love to be dressed for his nation. And children of Adam alayhi salam, all of them, nation of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and so the first thing is to be dressed by love. And Allah Almighty saying, don't look everyone by what coloring himself, this is Muslim, this is Christian, this is Jew, this is Buddhist, this is Hindu, this is Sikh, this is like this. You have nothing to do with people. All they are my creation. I will question them. Only you try to respect everyone, to love everyone as you love me and you respect me. Everyone by whom created? By Allah Almighty. If everyone is created by Allah Almighty, who owns him? His physical body, his spiritual body, his realities, his heavenly body. Whom own Allah Almighty? Whom own us? To whom we belong? To Allah Almighty. Our physical body to whom belongs? To Allah Almighty. You have nothing. You don't, you don't owe anything. You don't own anything. Never a one can own even his body, or it is the, uh, created by Allah Almighty and Allah owns them. Plenty of people, they say, it is our body, we own this body. No, you don't own anything. Even you don't own what is going in the second minute or the second second in your life. What is going to happen to you? You can't know. If you own yourself, you know. But since you, doesn't, you don't own anything, you don't know what is your future, what Allah programmed for you, what Allah written for you, no one knows. Only the one who created you knows. And for this Allah Almighty saying, always look at the goodness. Don't look at the badness. And also Allah Almighty appointed Allah. And the malaika whom they are under the hands of Awliyaullah who raise up the deeds of people to Allah Almighty, don't try, raise up to me any badness from whatever badness they did, keep it with them. Only the goodness, the good deeds they do, this bring it to me up. Don't bring for me anything bad. And for this Allah appointing the awliya to be assisting Rasulullah as the prophets, assisting sealed of prophets in their times, all to be ones whom they are carrying on their bodies the badness of people and only making the goodness to go up to, all, to Allah Almighty and the badness to be carried by them. Showing how much they love, how much they are humble, they, how much they respect each other. How much, whatever Allah dread them, physically or spiritually, used to share their nations with it. Never Allah Almighty like anyone to keep things for himself, but to share everything. Allah giving you, not for you, Allah giving it to you to share others, his creation with you. And to be always searching for their goodness. Even badness coming from them, don't look at it. Once, and she said a story about Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam is in Cyprus. They used to be, always Sayyidina Isa was from the prophets whom Allah, like Mawlana Shaykh Nazim Fadda sallallahu alayhi wa was awliya. He was prophet, Sayyidina Isa, big prophet. And, but he has, uh, in day of promises, Allah promising him not to remain in one place, always to be uh, traveling from one place to another. And this sunnah of prophets, sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is to travel all the time in between people to find 
whom they are scattered here or there to bring them back to the way of Allah Almighty, not to leave them to shaitan eating them like the wolves when he see the uh, sheep or goats scatter, he quickly try to cut them and eat them. And for this Allah Almighty sending the prophets and sealed of prophet and all awliya to catch the scattered people so that shaitan will not be able to catch one of them. And whatever Allah dressing them from goodness, from physical or spiritual wealth, not for them, not to be, to keep it for themselves. Allah will question them, even they are prophets, Allah will question them, this light, this wealth, whatever I dressed you, what you did by it. And for this Allah Almighty was asking Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, what you did for me, ya Musa? And when he was talking with Allah Almighty in the mountain of Sayyidina, Allah told him, what you, you are, what you are doing for me? He told him, I am spreading your message, oh Allah Almighty, spreading Iman, making people to pray. I am praying for you, I am fasting for you, I am making zikr of you. Ya Musa, all this, related to yourself because you are going to be rewarded. Goodness will be rewarded by goodness. You are going to get benefit. I am not going to be increasing by your worshipping or if you and all creation to be all of them rejecting me. I will not decrease. Nothing will change in me. I am Allah Almighty and I am the richest. I don't want all your worshipping, or you believe in me, or not. I don't care for all this. Because I love you, I created you. Because I love you to know me, I created you. By love, I created you. And I create everything by love. If I don't love, what I created never will be appearing. And like this, Allah Almighty telling Musa, what you did for me, and what I will do for you. You are Allah Almighty, you must do for us. What do you do for you? You serve us, you can serve Allah Almighty. Yes, Ya Musa. When you serve my people, when you serve whom I created, mankind, or human being, or jinn, or animals, or plants, anything which I created, when you serve them, when you help them, when you make them to be always happy and loving me and serving them whatever they need to give what I am giving you, share it with them, then you are serving me, Ya Musa alayhi salam. I am not in need for your worshipping. This is not serving me. Not the prayer serving me. Not the, the fasting serving me. But serving children of Adam alayhi salam serving my creation, even animals, if you serve them, if you help them to eat, to drink, to offer them food, and to anyone from mankind need anything, you give him, you share what I am giving to you with them, then you are serving me, Ya Musa. Anyone who serves the other, this service go to Allah Almighty and will not take him by the hand of Malaika, it will be taken by the almighty hand of Allah Almighty. Always showing love to each other, showing love and humbleness to creations of Allah Almighty. Even they are bad. You have nothing to do with their badness. Allah will question them. Only show your love and your respect as you respect Allah Almighty and love Allah Almighty. Don't differentiate between anyone. Don't say this is good, this is bad. You have nothing to do. You are not appointed by Allah Almighty to be searching for everyone how he is acting because everyone is acting according how Allah Almighty is programming him. And if you are not happy by what this one is acting, mean you are not happy by what Allah programming 
everyone because Allah saying khayri wa sharri, goodness and badness, I created them and I program people to have goodness and badness. As if you are criticizing Allah Almighty, why you are making like this, making them to be bad? Who appointed you? I appointed anyone on my behalf to replace me between my creation. You are one of this creation. Look at yourself. Try to make yourself always to be under my respect, under my blessing, and to please me and to may serve me by serving my people. I am not telling you to criticize or to search for their badness or goodness. This is in my hand. And for this Allah Almighty telling Ya Musa on yourself, my servants, my creation, you are serving me. This is coming to me and all others coming to yourself. All the benefit and rewards of every worshipping or goodness you do, this will go to you. But what you serve my people, what you donate to my people, what you give to my people, what you share with people, my creation, whom I created, even animals, you offer them anything they want, then you are serving me, Ya Musa. And like this Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, when Sheikh said, was walking in these earth with his disciples, and he, all of them, they catch their noses not to smell a very bad, smelly, dead dog on the way. There was a dead dog on the way. All of them, they catch their nose because perhaps three, four days he died, and very bad smell coming from him. Then Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam was turning to them and scolding them. Take off your hands from your noses. Why you are catching your noses not to smell? Don't smell the smelly bad day smelling coming from him. And by his stick he opened the mouth of the dog and he saw them. Look how nice his teeth. Look how nice his lips. Look how nice his nose. Look how nice Allah created him. Look for the goodness in him. Don't look for this bad smelling coming from him. Every one of you, if die, will have much more bad smell than this dog. And Allah Almighty, even though he is looking for the goodness of every one of you, he is not saying they are very smelly one. Don't enter them to Jannah, to paradise. But he is telling the Malay, go inside the grave and make the grave to be Jannah, paradise is for them. And Allah Almighty is saying, this bad smell, which you smell it from anyone who died, if the smell coming from his body, not from his deeds, then it's much more preferable than the smell of eight paradises. And for this he say, for the one who fast, the smell of the, their mouths near Maghrib time, it will be very bad smell coming from them. Uh, like written, Allah say, I am decorating and perfuming the eight paradises by smell of the mouth of my fasting ones whom they are fasting for my sake. And I make this smell to be well perfumed to the ladies of Jannah and to all paradises like much more nicer than misk or the roses or nice smell because it is in obeying Allah Almighty. Allah looking at the goodness of everything. Even Allah created the badness but he is looking for the goodness of everything. And for this he told Rasulullah sallallahu Allah will never send except goodness. Why Allah Almighty created badness? Allah created badness. When you do badness, you will be rewarded by badness. When you do goodness, you will be rewarded by goodness. Allah says, 
إلا الإحسان goodness rewarded by goodness the same if you do badness for this Allah create badness to reward you by badness don't think if you are always in love to Allah Almighty Rasulullah to all creation of Allah Almighty in humbleness to them that Allah will reward you by badness never will make punishment to come over you or to be uh, under the curse or badness or suffering to be dressed on you. But you will be always prosperous. But the one who catch the money, the one who catch everything Allah giving him and say this for me, for myself, I must keep it for me and for my children and descendants. Uh, who created you? Allah. Who gave you all this? Allah. Who created your children? Allah. Who gave them risk and programming for them all their life, how they are going to be? Allah Almighty. Who is the one supporting and supplying everyone by what he needs? Mm -hmm. In the kingdom of Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty. Why you are so interested in making yourself to replace Allah Almighty, to work all your life to supply whom Allah Almighty already supplying them and dressing them by what they need. You created them, you created your children, you created your sons and daughters, you created uh, your descendants to Yawm al Even yourself you didn't create it. You don't know what's going on inside you. You don't know what's going in your coming minute in front of you. You know nothing. All programmed and created by Allah Almighty. Even whatever you eat and drink and you have every day is supplied by Allah Almighty to you, not by yourself. And Allah Almighty, when He wants to make one to give him to be wealthy and rich, He will give him a mind. And Allah will program this mind to work that, to be activating that he will be wealthy. And the one Allah will program him to be poor, Allah give him a mind to work, how to be poor and poor, the one poor and poor and never collecting one even ash from this life. This is for common people, but for the ones whom Allah Almighty choosing them, <coughs> Or for the ones whom they said we want, we don't want to be choosing elder Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty is swearing, making an oath on this dunya. Oh dunya, oh all what I create, all my kingdom of Allah Almighty, serve the one who served me. Be a kingdom for him. Give him whatever I dress my kingdom. Whatever there is in my kingdom, give without asking. Whatever he needs, supply him. And the one who serve you, serve this life, serve to be keeping everything for himself, serve to keep everything for his prosperity and his descendant and whatever coming from him, never depending on Allah Almighty, or if he's depending on Allah Almighty, but still replacing himself to be in charge of whom he is inhabiting, Allah will say, O oh, dunya, O oh, my kingdom, don't give him anything. Even don't give him one ash from you. Let him be suffering and working so tired, so hard, tough time, give him. And don't give him anything. And whatever he collect, make it to be totally uh, no more in his hand, even whom they are inheriting him, to spend them in any way that nothing remain with them. But the one who serve me, who serve Allah Almighty, who love Allah Almighty, who loves Rasulullah, who loves Awliyaullah, Ahlul Bayt, who loves humanity, who loves everyone, humankind, and serving them, and respecting them as he love Allah Almighty and respect Allah Almighty, O oh my kingdom, O oh dunya, serve him and give him whatever he needs, supply him with all godly goodness 
because I am loving him. Oh Jibreel, I love this one. Announce, and Sayyidina Jibreel will announce in heavens and houses that Allah Almighty loved this one, or oh, all of you loves him. And you see that everyone must love the one whom Allah Almighty loves. And the one whom Allah doesn't love, the one who is always full with hatred to everyone, even hating himself, and he is bad for himself, and bad for all, then Allah Almighty will make him to be suffering and to be feeling the uh, suffer and sickness and the punishment which is descending from the godly stations over his head of this one. And for this be careful, only small sum and a big one. Always show yourself to be always loving, even you are loving yourself, loving all whom related to you, loving all whom related to your way, loving whom all created by Allah Almighty. Respect them. Don't look at their badness or their religions or they are believer or an unbeliever. Once Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the Sahaba was crossing the road of Medina and all at a sudden a funeral was appearing and people following the funeral. Rasulullah he stand with other good behavior, respecting this funeral and this Ahaba, all of them, they were surprised because they want to stop the funeral to make Rasulullah to pass, to cross the road. They say, no, no, like the funeral course. And he was standing, Rasulullah, with all mean of good respect and love to this funeral. They told me, oh, Rasulullah, it is only for a non-believer, for a godless, for a Jewish one who is fighting you all the time. He say, I am respecting the one who created him. I am respecting the soul to whom his soul related is walking over his couple. To who, from whom light he is created. From the light of Allah Almighty, I am respecting this, not respecting whatever badness appeared from him. This badness will be buried with him in the grave, but the light, the soul, all related to Allah Almighty, every goodness related to Allah Almighty will go up to Allah Almighty. I am respecting them, this in them. Respect what Allah, to respect Allah Almighty and Grand Shay used to teach us and still teaching us forever. Always see Allah Almighty in everyone. See, everyone is created from the light of Allah Almighty and respect the light of Allah Almighty in everyone. Respect the light of Rasulullah in everyone. Don't show any hatred to anyone. Don't show any uh, unrespect to anyone. Don't make anyone to be, uh, to be rude with him, to be scolding him, to be not in good adab with him, but always show the respect and the love. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told them, but if you see anyone of the com our community, not the non-believer, don't interfere with them. With the believer, if you saw them, they missing the way of Allah Almighty, they are giving bad teaching to each other, they are doing against the will of Allah Almighty, then you will be able to scold them and to be adjusting them again to be in the right way so that to help them, to save them in the divine presence of Allah Almighty. Not to scold them or to unrespect them or to be uh, shouting at them uh, as insulting, but for love of them to bring them back to the way of Allah Almighty. You will be like the dog. We are like a dog to Mawlana Shaykh Nazir and Grand Shaykh. Whenever the goats or the sheep after, behind the shepherd, 
they will be missing sometimes the way all by themselves want to eat from here or there. What the dog of the shepherd will do? Always the shepherd have one dog, ten dogs, hundred dogs following him, only to keep this cattle always following the shepherd, no one to be missed, so that not the wolves will come <coughs> and attack and eat him. And shaitan is like this waiting, whenever a one will be misguided himself, or giving bad teaching, or giving anything against the shepherd, the imam of him, quickly the dog whom with the shepherd will come and catch him and bring him back to the cattle to be in the right way going after the shepherd. Then the shepherd will take them where, to where they belong, and he put them, and he will count them one by one. Like this Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and awliya will count all whom they are uh, given to them from Allah Almighty and Allah Almighty giving all children of Adam to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said I am the Lord of children of Adam and no vow. So every sunset and before sunrise he will count everyone by one and he perfect everyone by one and he try his best that to make the goodness of everyone to be raised up to Allah Almighty. And for this, uh, for this all awliya Allah, they, why they are hiding themselves now? Because so much badness, so much bad deeds, so much wrong beliefs, so much wrong things we are doing, and they must totally be in charge for mankind, for all creation to be making them in the way of goodness so that they will be presented to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa as completed and perfect by the awliya. If the awliya want to sit between people and to wait their time with teaching them, sitting with them, making familiarity with them, then they are not able to find time for their spirituality to go all over like laser rays, like satellite, like they will be covering all children of Adam alayhi salam so that no one to be lost, no one to be missed the way, but all of them to be gathered behind their imam. The imam of all is Rasulullah, seed of Prophet, as Allah Almighty saying in the Holy Quran, وَكُلَّ شَيْءٍ أَحْصَيْنَاهُ فِي إِمَامٍ مُبِينٍ Everything, tiniest to the hugest thing, in my kingdom, which I created as a creator, coming from my divine the attribute of a creator, I endorse it and I dress it to be in this Imam in my divine presence. Who is the Imam in my divine presence? Allah telling to all creation to be born. But Allah is witnessing the only one whom He is responsible for all of you. And he will be questioned on behalf of all of you. And he is the Imam of all of you, is my beloved Muhammad Rasulullah. Wa kafa billahi shaheedan. Allah saying, enough. Allah Almighty is witnessing. No need for malaika to witness. No need for any creation to be witnessing. What Allah Almighty is witnessing, that I am by myself witnessing that you, Muhammad Rasulullah, you are my Imam, the Imam of my divine kingdom, divinely Malakut, divine kingship, divinely all, divinely godly word of descending of Allah Almighty from His absolute identity, the uh, divinely godly words of deeds from, for, from three eternal forever, the Imam of all these creation, how they programmed, they all were counted and were dressed in that Imam who is in the uh, divine presence of Allah Almighty from the eternal forever. And for this you see, and everyone knows and realizes that from the eternal forever, Allah connecting the divine reward of Muhammad Rasulullah by the divine, the God, the word of Allah Almighty, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad <coughs> Rasulullah. He is the only Imam for all. 
And Paulus Rasulullah, the first to teach the Sahaba is the love. And to take off all kind of proudness and hatred from the love. Only to show love, to show respect to each other, to show, to show for non-believers, for hypocrite, for believer, for everyone. To show them love and respect, to bring them back to the way of Allah Almighty. Don't show your uh, hatred to anyone. Don't show your enmity to anyone. Then Allah will be enemy to you. If you hate people, Allah will hate you. If you insult anyone, Allah will insult you. If you punish one, Allah will punish you. Allah don't, don't never like anyone to uh, make his creation, his people, whom he created, of children of Adam alayhi salam, anyone to make them uh, to come low, to make them yani, uh, to give karahiya, to give hatred and to insult them and to see himself is much more better. Why? Because Allah gave him some uh, dirtiness of this life, which is the money of this life. He is wealthy, so he will be seeing himself that he is better than everyone. By what? By the dirtiness of this life. Is he going to take all this money with him? See, kings, ministers, presidents, all rich people, emperor, all they died, what they took with them. All they went empty hand to the grave. They went all empty hand to the divine the presence of Allah Almighty. One big emperor, once upon a time, Allah mentioned again in the Holy Quran by the name of Dhul Qarnayn. He was Allah giving him to rule from east to west, north to south, not only in our globe, this earth, but in all the universes. He can fly with his army and go anywhere to make whatever the creation to be only worshipping Allah Almighty. And so he was the emperor all under his uh, control and all the wealth of this kingdom of Allah Almighty, Allah giving it to him. One and young, he was perhaps 28, 27, 29 years old when he died. When he was passing away, he was making a meeting with all his minister and all whom appointed them as lords or sultans in their places. He called all of them and he made a meeting. He told them, now I am passing away from this life. But I want you, all of you, what to do? Because all this earth is going to be in my funeral. Make both my hand to go out of the box which you want to carry me to make them out of the box like this. This is my will. And they pray on me and bury me. So that to be known that this servant of Allah Almighty, Dhul Qarnayn, who Allah gave him to be the emperor for all the kingdom of Allah Almighty by the blessing of Rasulullah, and who was controlling all this earth and all the wealth of this earth, all the gold, all whatever Allah created in the earth, down or up, and heavenly stations, Allah giving him all, he passed away empty-handed to show all whom they are following the funeral that how much Allah gave him, but he is now going to grave his hand out of the box empty-handed, nothing taking with him. Everything remain in this earth. And Allah saying, I am Allah Almighty, who is going to inherit the earth and all of you under whatever I created, it will be inherited by me. Nothing will remain to any one of you. All of you are going to go to, again, dust, sand, as you were created from sand, you will return to sand. And my lights and the soul which is gifted from me, I put on you. 
this will return to me, not for you, not belong for you. And even your body not belong for you, but belong to me. And I created it from earth and I will return it to earth. And it will be sand, dust, nothing. And you will not take anything from whatever you collect from this life. So whatever you collect, whatever you have, whatever you are so high rank in this life, you are going to leave everything and to go at the end to the graveyard and they will pray on you. No more they mention your name. They will not the funeral of the Sultan. They will not say the funeral of the king. They will not say the funeral of this president, minister, prime minister, this rich, wealthy one. They will say funeral prayer on the servant of Allah Almighty. And if it is a woman, they will say the funeral prayer of people on Amatullah. For man, they say servant. For woman, they say Amma, Amatullah. And for man, Abdullah. Like this, the last title, the last name which given to you by Allah Almighty, either Abdullah for man or Amatullah for woman. And like this, no more they will say Sultan, no more they will say President, no more they say Doctor, no more they say Engineer, no more they say Lawyer, nothing. All this will be finishing in this life only what you are going to take you with you. You will take with you to Allah Almighty your love to Allah Almighty and to Rasulullah. Your Iman, your faith, your good deeds, your good respect to the one Allah created them, even for either from humankind or animals or plants or anything in the kingdom of Allah Almighty. This is what you take with you. If you come to Allah Almighty with love, Allah will welcome you and smile in your face. Most welcome myself. And if you come with hatred to everyone, and even hatred to meet Allah Almighty, Allah will turn his face from you. Never will look at you. Take him, put him in the warehouses, and you will be in the warehouses till the day of judgment, resurrection. While the other one coming to Allah Almighty with love, with respect, was happy by what Allah Almighty created and respecting everything for the sake of Allah Almighty that every, everything is created by Allah Almighty and Allah Almighty is the one in everyone and Allah Almighty is the all in all and I am respecting this whom he is the one in everyone I am respecting this the, I am respecting all because he is the all in all. For this I am respecting them, respecting Allah Almighty. And respecting the light from whom they appear, sealed of Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and look at their goodness and come like this to Allah Almighty, open heart, smiling to him, happy to meet him. You will see Allah Almighty by himself, he will not send for you the angel of death. He will not send for you malaika of death. Allah by himself, he say, Allah Almighty by himself, he will be welcoming you and taking your soul and your lives to be always forever alive by eternal life from Allah Almighty, by divinely life, never Death will be over you, but only this physical body will be buried while your essence, your humanity, and your soul, your lives will be always forever by eternal life dressed by Allah Almighty and you will be free in the paradises and the kingdom of Allah Almighty, heavenly kingdom, earthly kingdom, and all kingdoms of Allah Almighty, of all the divinely godly works of descending of the absolute identity of Allah Almighty to move anywhere you want free because you are Abdullah.
Why the other one, he will tell Malaika, take him to the warehouses. They jail him, they imprison him in the warehouses, darkness, until the day of judgment. They will open at the day of judgment the door of this warehouse and they will be all in a queue crowded to the divine presence of Allah Almighty. While the other, they will not be crowded. They will be from just, they take him by Allah Almighty in the heavenly station of Allah Almighty, in their paradises forever, neighborhood to Allah Almighty and to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So be careful that nothing will help you in the divine presence of Allah Almighty and Rasulullah except love, respect, serving each other and to be happy with each other and to see Allah Almighty he is the one in everyone, and Allah Almighty is the all in all. Don't see that you are something, you are nothing. Only Allah is the something. Allah, He is the one existing. And all of you, all of us, we are shadows. Now we are seen, all at a sudden, this light switch off, no more. Finish. If we are finished, then See what is going to come on your head. Either you will be eternal life dressed to you, or you will be jailed in warehouses. وَمِنْ وَضَائِهِمْ بَرْزَخٌ إِلَى يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ Allah saying, وَمِنْ وَضَائِهِمْ بَرْزَخٌ إِلَى يَوْمِ يُبْعَثُونَ And for them, it's going to be warehouses till the day I will survive them again in the day of judgment. But for these whom they are, Friends of Allah Almighty, loving Allah Almighty, respecting everyone for the sake of Allah Almighty, seeing only goodness, which Allah programmed everyone to be dressed by goodness, then they will be forever dressed by eternal life, by divinely life from Allah Almighty, and never they will be prison in warehouses, even in day of judgment. No questioning for them. They will be all the time in neighborhood to Allah Almighty and to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Think about it well and see, decide in which way you want to be. You, how to manage yourself, how to treat yourself. You want to be pleasant or to be divinely one. See what you want. To be wealthy in this life and bankrupt in the other life. You want to be bankrupt here or, and wealthy there? You can choose whatever you want and Allah will give, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah Almighty is saying, anyone questioning my people, saying this is a believer, this is non-believer, this is Muslim, this is not Muslim, I am going to be in charge of this one. I will question him. I will question him and I know how to act and to do with him in the day of judgment. I am keeping now. Whatever you want to do, do. But there is going to be a day where all you are coming to me and if you are not respecting how I program, who dress them to be non-believers? Who dress them not to be Muslim? Who dress them by Christian? Who dress them by Jews? Who dress them by Buddhists? Who dress them by Hindus? by sea, by all, by worshipping orbits or spirit, who does that? Allah. Allah Almighty. Why you are interfering? Anyone interfere? Only whom Allah appoints to interfere, they can interfere. Allah appoints prophets to interfere. Allah appoints seed of prophets to interfere. He didn't appoint everyone to interfere with his creation. And for this you must respect all, because he is the all in all. And he is the one in everyone. And if you see yourself replacing Allah Almighty, and you want to interfere in everything, then know that Allah Almighty is going to question you for the tiniest thing, even less than an atom, until making you useless and to be going to Jahannam as a hypocrite, and to be in the lowest valleys of Jahannam. But if you serve mankind, if you serve the creation of Allah, you respect everyone Allah created, 
If you respect everyone, seeing Allah Almighty, He is the one in everyone, then Allah Almighty will not question. And Allah will not send the angel of death, but by Himself, He is saying in the Holy Quran, Allah Almighty will be finishing the one by His Almighty hand without help, and he will take him to be neighbor to Allah Almighty and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. While the other one, Allah will send the angel of death, punish them, flood them, beat them, do whatever you want with them. They are the ones whom they were not respecting me, not loving me, or not loving anything I created. Only they are criticizing my creation as if they are criticizing me. Not happy with my creation means they are not happy with me. Do whatever you want with that. He will tell the angel of death and the malaika whom helping the angel of death. So we have all this only advice, the teaching of awliyaullah to us how to be always humble, how to be always in good manners, good behavior, respecting, and the most important, to see Allah Almighty, He is the all in all, and Allah Almighty is the one in everyone. And then you know that everything is existing by Allah Almighty, and you are nothing except a one of these whom existing by Allah Almighty, and by the light of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you are a rice from a bag of rice, a bag full with rice. How much is this bag full with rice? You have one rice from these rices. And all these rice and this bag to whom? To Allah Almighty. He is the owner. He is owner of everything. Why you are interfering with them? Look at yourself. Look at your heart. Look at your uh, satanic ego in yourself. Try to build up what ruin between you and Allah Almighty. What ruin between you and Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? What ruin between you and people? Try to build it and to make house for Allah Almighty in your heart. Don't make this ruin to be more ruin, more ruin, more ruin, more ruin until you are ruining totally yourself, and then you will be thrown in a hole to be jailed, prison in warehouses, and you think you are doing well, but you are doing bad. May Allah forgive us and mercy us. In a show of Nabi, he said, Now Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and I was in our service and I was a big one of us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Inshallah, tomorrow, don't put, uh, don't make sahbah after finishing the Fajr prayer.